guess I, what I really want to know is how did this all begin for you? When did it begin? And why did you choose the Arbor Heights neighborhood to settle? Yeah. <laughs> Small questions. Yeah, so big ones. Um, well, we've raised our family here. Um, my son goes to school. He's gone through preschool, elementary, and now he's at Summit just up the, the street from us at high school now. And so this neighborhood, um, I have worked in for a very long time. I worked at like Jack's Grill, I've worked for Endeline Joe's, just like all over the neighborhood. Um, both my husband and I were born and raised in the area. And Bird on a Wire coffee shop that used to be here um, was one of our favorite places to go. And one of the things that we liked, uh, the old owner, Heidi, she would make everything fresh. And so my son had a lot of allergies and stuff uh, growing up. And so this became one of our favorite coffee shops because everything was made to order and we could um, kind of customize things to go with his dietary needs. And so we just became really friendly with Heidi, the old owner and she was here for 17 years and in 2019 um, my husband and I we were kind of looking for a space to expand our food business which is called Freeman Foods mm -hmm. and Heidi was also looking at a way of kind of getting out of the business and so she was like you should buy my coffee shop and so we started in 2019 of just kind of talking about how that would happen. And officially March, 2020, we signed all the paperwork. And then 16 days later, the world went into crazy land. <laughs> I was say when, yeah, when exactly was this in 2020? Wow. Yeah. So oh my gosh. We okay. officially signed all the paperwork had really big plans for the neighborhood and then everything kind of came crashing down yeah. and what we did was we opened up some windows and we just kept pivoting and showing up every day and the amazing thing about this neighborhood is everybody's super supportive they love this place just as much as we do um, it's been a community hub of ours for a very long time. We called it the bird. And so keeping with the bird theme, we switched up the name a little bit to put our own little stamp on it, but keeping with that community feel and a lot of the same menu items, but just kind of elevating them up a little bit from our own food background. Yeah. And so that's what we've kind of taken on and it's caught on with the neighborhood and we're super excited to be here and now after two years of kind of going through all the COVID things, we've designed it in a way that keeps our staff safe, it keeps our customers safe, and that we can really crank out some breakfast sandwiches and do some fun stuff. So what we're excited for for the future is now that we kind of know what we're doing, we're, we're not in that big pivot mode anymore. We're like, okay, we're here, we've got an awesome team. And so now, now we can do some really fun things. And so we're just getting excited now to do more specialty baking stuff, some um, more extensive lunch program, uh, bringing those take and bakes so that you can literally come for breakfast or your coffee in the morning, but leave with lunch and dinner at the same time and knowing that everything is homemade, like we make everything pretty much from scratch. And all of the bakery items that you see at our shop, we make about 80 to 90% of the things that you see. So know that, okay. Even all the way to like the chai we make, we make golden milk, we make all of the syrups, we make daily soups. So like we're, we're just here to cook for our neighborhood and keep it with, you know, fresh ingredients that we, you know, all the prices have kind of gone up, yes, but um, yes, it's really nice to be able to just kind of do what our passion is and be able to have a place where people in the neighborhood can go and know that they can get something good to eat. That's and drink. Awesome. Okay, well, that's it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You just, you covered so much. And um, 
Wow, uh, that's that's so interesting. I mean, first of all, good for you guys for just powering through the past couple of years and making this work. And I'm so glad that it's just kind of leveled off now for you and that you're, you've got your rhythm down. Um, but since our time is running out, I, I wanna make sure I get in um, an idea of what your goals are for um, the birdhouse for the future, the foreseeable future, and how you can continue to get support from the outside to reach those goals. Yeah. So for us uh, right now, we kind of just hit a little reset button. We're getting ready to launch a new menu um, that will have um, some old favorites that are coming back, like the oats are coming back. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have ways that people can order lunch sandwiches and build your own lunch sandwich. So a little bit more compelling lunch program. Um, and so for us, it's really staying integrated into the neighborhood and the community. And so one of the things that my husband Todd and I wanted to do when we created our business was pick um, a couple ways to give back. And so a couple of the um, companies that we've decided um, to support for long term, uh, we'll do other ones in between, but the Ronald McDonald House is one of the things that's near and dear to my heart because my family stayed there. Um, my cousin and their family stayed there when their little boy was going through chemo. Um, and so it's just one of those things, it's, it's family, it's like, um, it's a house, like all of those things that represent for me the things that keep people together and how do we support that. So that's one of my passion projects is giving back. And so that's one of them. And then Urban Artworks is um, our other one that we've chosen. And I'm sure that you've seen the big mural that we painted on the side of the building. Yeah, and Urban Artworks is uh, the one who actually installed that for us. Got it, okay. And they're just doing beautiful, beautiful work all throughout our city and they connect with youth which is a big thing for me. <laughs> Kids, yeah. art, dogs, food, all of those types of things I want to stay involved with in the community. And so it's a way that we can give back. So you'll see throughout the year that we'll do different little fundraising events. Um, last year at this time, we were helping out the Senior Center of West Seattle. Uh, we've done things for Ronald McDonald House. Okay. Uh, we've done things for other um, companies. So that's the big thing for us is to continue to have great tasting things for our neighborhood people to come and purchase from us, but at the same time, supporting a bigger um, part, part of our city with the things that we do here. Supporting, well, let me just say, uh, thank you so much again for taking the time to, to educate us a little bit about the, the cafe restaurant.